welcome to another Tune and Dyno. So an oldie but a goodie. I started out with a Mazda Speed 3 Gen 1 and here is another one. Uh, fast forward, you know, a good, boy, 2008 till today, a good 14 years. 14 years? Jesus. It's been a long time. Uh, anyways, <laughs> here we are with a Gen 1 uh, Mazda Speed 3. This one's got a BNR S4. It's got a big uh, intake, a front mount intercooler from Cobb, um, a Guardian Angel from us, uh, and a full turbo back exhaust. Now, this car originally had come in uh, for, for pump gas and, and E30 tunes before the turbo back exhaust. Well, actually, it was before the cat back. It already had a downpipe. And interestingly enough, you know, it didn't make all that much power, as much power as we were expecting. So I suggested to the owner, Simon, that he uh, looks at that uh, cat back, and he did. And it picked up a whole bunch of power. So it picked up about uh, 25 horsepower uh, on pump gas and about 35 horsepower on E30. And if you follow me here, We can have a quick look at what those graphs look like. Now, this is the pump gas tune. So on our Mustang Dyno, this car originally made uh, just, just shy of 300 to the wheels. Um, and now, uh, with the cat back, he picked up 25 horsepower. And you can see that it also spools up faster and he carries it deeper into the power band. So basically, with just the addition of the cat back, he made a retune, of course, for that cat back because now the wastegate tables had to be changed. The turbo respond differently. He made as much power as he did by adding ethanol. And it gets even better when you look at the E30 tune here. So we are at, or we were rather, at about 332 horsepower, and now we're 367. So 35 horsepower extra, and you can see, once again, the car spools up faster, and it carries power uh, more into the power, into the upper uh, rev range. The other thing to also note is that you can see that the gap between the two curves increases up top. And that's a clear indication that the flow through the entire engine has improved. You always pick up top end when you increase flow. So a really good update uh, to the car. It's a, it was a Cobb catback that he put on, a three inch catback, so nothing too crazy, but he, he did have the OEM in there originally. So if in doubt whether a catback makes a difference on your Mazda speed, there you have it. I do remember from many, many years ago, there was a similar test that was done back on the Mazda Speed forums. And, uh, and they said, yeah, 30 to 40 horsepower on a big turbo. I don't think that was the case. The exhaust stock is also small, but looks like it is. And now we've proven it on our own dyno. So hopefully you found this interesting. Subscribe, keep on following us for more tunes, builds, dynos, and fun stuff. Until next time.